everybody. Thrift here with another quick Minecraft pack on Feed the Beast tutorial. This is for the industrial centrifuge used in Greg Tech to get the silicon plates for the solar panels and lots of other things. You can look at all the recipes by clicking that little arrow there, going through these, and that's that last one is the one we are after. Two silicon cells into a silicon plate and two empty cells. So you, the lowest tier that you can make, there are three different kinds of casing that you have to attach the indu industrial blast furnace to, otherwise it'll say incomplete machine casing. And uh, these are the types of casing that you'll need. And standard is the easiest to make, and it's all you need to make silicon plates. But to get some other things smelted, you have to eventually get the advanced. But that's far down the line because it takes some meridian plates for that, but this is a pretty easy recipe. You're gonna have to craft that recipe nine times, and that will give you 34 of these casing blocks, and you only need to use 32 of them, so you're gonna have two extra. And in the middle here, it can be empty, and it will complete, but you can also put lava in one or both of these sources, and we'll look at the effect of that. So this is with no lava, heat capacity 1020, in this K stands for Kelvin, it's a uh, pretty standard scientific uh, temperature unit of measurement. <laughs> Anyways, with one lava source, we have 1270 Kelvin, two lava sources brings us all the way up to 1520 Kelvin. And I'm just going to use this for my demonstration because I don't have power hooked up to any of those. MFB. And there it is. It just says insufficient energy line because I didn't have enough energy to do this before. And I, yeah, I don't have enough energy to do it now. So as you can see, it'll try to do this. But yeah, it can't do it. And it doesn't get solved by just taking that out because as soon as you put the items in, they're like consumed by the machine to do the processing so taking the items out doesn't do anything what you need to do is disconnect the power somehow and then wait until you build up enough power to put it in otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to continuously gain power and pump it into this machine and it won't be enough so you'll never store up any power it'll just continuously drain it forever until you disconnect it buffer it up enough to complete the operation and then plug it back in. So I hope this helped and have a good night.